Hello, welcome to the new course. So in this course, we are going to see about the Niagara system. So Niagara system is used to create the particle effect, which has been used for the VFX. So now in this video, we are going to see how to create the basic Niagara system. And also to learn this course, you need to have a basic knowledge uh, in the Unreal Engine, like navigating and some of the shortcuts. So now we'll see how to create the Niagara system. So in order to create that, we need to right click in the content browser. We need to go to effects and select this Niagara system. And here uh, we'll have some options. So at present, we'll select this new system from selected emitter and click on this next. And here we'll have some templates. Uh, so for time being for this lesson, we are going to use this fountain and click on this add. So now it has been added to this templates and now click on this finish. So here we got this template. We can give the name, let's say like Niagara system underscore like fountain. And now in order to open this, just uh, double click. And now here it has been opened this template. Uh, here you can see the preview. And also here we can create the particle system in this graph. And also if you select this, uh, you can see the parameters of that emitter. So whatever the changes you want to create, uh, make, uh, you can change in this parameter like color, emission rate, et cetera. So which we'll see in the further videos. And also down you can see there is a timeline. At present it has been created the fountain. And here you can see this uh, like Niagara log curves. So Niagara log is nothing but whenever you get some errors, you will you can able to see the errors in the Niagara log. And also now in order to navigate around this preview, so we can left click and drag so that we can able to orbit around this. And if you want to zoom in, zoom out, you can use the right mouse button to zoom in, zoom out. And also if you want to pan, you can use the middle mouse button to pan the camera from left to right and up and down. And also if you don't want to see the background and if you want to see with any plain color, uh, you can remove the background. So in order to remove this, first we need to go to Windows and open this preview scene settings. So if you open this preview scene settings and if you select this emitter, you can see uh, like if I go to this environment and there is an option like show environment. So if you uncheck this, you can able to remove the background. And also like uh, you can change the environment color. So if you select this and you can change the environment color to like blue or red according to your requirement. So let's say just I will give the color to like black for time being. And also here, uh, whenever we click on this play, so it is going to play this thing. So here you can see we can change the time of this font. And suppose in case if you want to uh, start the particles after one second or two seconds, we can click and drag this thing. But the thing is default it has been locked. So in order to unlock this, if you select this fountain and here you can see there is an option like emitter state. So if you select this emitter state and if you go to this selection, here you can see there is an option like loop delay. So you can enable this and also make sure here the life cycle should be like self. And now you can see we can able to select this and we can change the time. So suppose if I uh, place here, now the particles will going to start after two seconds. So if you click on this play, now you can see the particles are going to start after two seconds. So for time being, let it be like a default. So I will just drag it up to like zero second. And also in this, if you want to change the controls, uh, for example, if you select these three dots and here there is an option like orbit mode. So if you disable this thing, now if you want to navigate around this thing, we can hold the right mouse button and we can use this like ASW. So same like a, a game controls. So as we like navigate around the world here, so just like AWASD. And now if you go to this thing, so if you don't want dirt controls, uh, we can use this orbit mode. So for time being, I will select this orbit mode. And also if you want to see the number of particle count. So here you can see there is an option like show. So if you select this, you can see the number of particle count here. And also in the timeline, you can see there is an work area. So as in that work area is, has been set to like 10 seconds. So in case, suppose if I left click and drag here, and now the total animation will play up to only three seconds. So if I click on this play, now the animation will play up to only three seconds here. So like we can use this option to set this work area. So suppose if I set the timeline to here and if I click on this, now the work area will go up to that position. So for time being, I will uh, set it to like 10 seconds. So you can just like left click and drag. And also here you can zoom in, zoom out this timeline by using this option. And now we will see how to create the empty emitter. So like suppose if you right click, there is an option like add emitter and the shortcut is E. And here we can select this empty. 
now it has been created the empty emitter and now we can navigate around this by using the right mouse button to pan and now for timing if you want to turn off this thing uh, you can click on uh, this option or else in the timeline you can see there is an option like uh, you can untick this thing so now it will disable so now in order to create the particles in this thing uh, we need to go to this option like emitter update so if you select this thing now you have to type for this pawn right so click on this uh, here you can give the rate of particles. So let's say if I give the value to like 100. So now if you click on this play, so now see it has been created the particles, but the particles are like staying in the same position. So we need to have some force. So in order to add the force, we need to go to this particle update and click on this add. So search for gravity force. So select this. And now after adding this gravity force here, you will get this error. Uh, so what the thing is, if you want to automatically fix this, you can click on this option, fix issue, or else manually, if you want to adjust, you can go to this particle update and search for solve forces and velocity. So now see it has been uh, like removed the error and now it has been applied to gravity. Now, if I undo, and whenever you add this gravity force and if you want to fix this error automatically just you need to click on this fix issue so still it will add this solve forces and velocity so now whenever we go back and now if you click on this play the particles will have a force but the thing is the particles are very straight means like it is going in the same direction we need to spread these particles so here in the particle update we need to add the noise so just vector noise force. So now it has been added the noise. So if you want to increase the amount, you can give the value here. Let's say if I give the value to like 3000 or something. Now you can see it has been added the noise. So if you click on this play. So now we got this uh, random noise particle here. And now if you want to control the lifetime of this particles or to change the color of these particles, we need to select this initialize particle. And now here we'll have a lifetime mode. So like defaultly it has been set it to like a uh, direct set. So defaultly the particles will stay up to five seconds. So if I want the particle should stay up to three seconds, you can type three. And now if you click on this play, the particles will die after these three seconds here. So let's say if I give one or something. So now the particles will die only after like one second. So it depends on your uh, scene requirements. And also we'll have an random, uh, for example, if I select this random, you can give the range means like suppose if I give the value to like three in the maximum. So the particle life will be in between like one second to three seconds. So randomly it will generate. So some particles will stay one second and some particles will stay up to like two or three seconds. And here you will have an option like color. So if you want to change the like particle colors, so for example, now if you select this and there is an option like direct set, so now here you can change the color of this particle. Let's say if I give the value to like pink or something. So now the particle colors will be changed to pink. And suppose if I want the multiple color, like random colors. So here you can select this random range. And now here you will have a color minimum and maximum. So let's say suppose if I give the value to like pink and click on okay. And now if you select this, let's say if I give the yellow, and now the particles will be in the random color. So some particles will stay in the pink and some particles will stay in the yellow color. And now if you want to change the size of these particles here, you can come down. Uh, there is an option like sprite size mode. So let's say if I set it to like uniform, now a default it has been set the value to 10. So if you go zoom in, you can see the particle size to 10. And if you want the random size, then here you can select this option like random uniform. So let's say some particles will stay like uh, five and some of the particle size will be like 10 here. So let's say if I give the value to like 20 or something. Now some particle size will be five and some of these particle size will be between like five to 20. So if I click on this play, now you are getting the random size of this particle. And also suppose if you want to create the sparks kind of uh, shape here. So if you go to this option and there is an option like non-uniform, whenever we select that option here, you will get this X axis and Y axis. So we can scale it like suppose if I give the value to like 40 or something, now you are getting this sparks kind of uh, shape here. So if you want to make this thin, uh, you can decrease the value in the X axis. So let's say if I give the value to like two or something, now you are getting this sparks kind of uh, shape here. So uh, let it be like an uh, uniform. 
and also here you will have an sprite rotation uh, like an intensity to like random or something suppose in case if you set this particle size to non-uniform so you can see the effect so for time being let it be like a default and also there are some other options like mesh attributes and ribbon attributes so which will be covered in the further videos and now we will see how to control the particles over their age means according to their age we can change the color so in order to do that, we need to go to this particle spawn and we need to click on this add search for color. So select this. And here uh, defaultly we'll have this base color. So now if you click on this play, now it has been set it to like white. So it has been override this initial particle. And here, if you want to change, you can change the color of these particles here. And now if you want the random thing, uh, you can click on this arrow. So if you click on this arrow, you can search for color from curve. So you need to select this option. So here you will get this uh, gradient kind of thing, which can be seen in like Photoshop, other softwares. So now if you want to change the color, uh, you can select uh, like double click on this and here you can change the color. Uh, so let's say if I give the value to like orange and click on OK. And here you can double click, uh, you can give the value to like pink or something and click on OK. But still we are not able to see the pink here because here the opacity is zero. So in order to increase the opacity, double click on this and here you can give the opacity to like 100. So now uh, still you are not able to see the gradient color. I mean, like uh, the two multicolors here. So what I think is uh, we need to drag this color to the particle update because still it is in the particles form. So we need to click on this. So now you can see uh, the particle color. So the orange to pink here. So according to the age means like the starting, the color will be orange and later it will going to change this to pink color. So it depends if you want to add any color, you can just like uh, left click here. See if you left click and it will add the color. And now suppose if I double click and you can change it to like red or something and click on OK. So now you'll get these three colors here. And now these are the basic options uh, in creating the particles. So in the next video, we'll see about the curves and also we'll see how to create the burst particles. So see you in the next video.